40 seconds left. Do Sentinels go in or do they choose to pivot? With that cam in mid, they do still have opportunities to head back. The issue is this player stuck in mid net. How much left. can he achieve? He hears so many players on the other side of that wall and they're walking straight past it. No! Yet. He's lost the opportunity. Now stuck out, flashed up by Zelsis, but he still wins the duel. It is all good. Now Sentinels moving into the B site. Satchel in to bring it down. Wingman falls, but Jonah P can't get the job done. G2 aren't done yet from back site. Leaf already coming around the corner, looking for the planter, and he takes down Saucy. A huge kill out of him. 2v3 now. And Nat activated for the second layer of this one. Around the corner he comes, and down they... Defense actually down. getting in front of his utility. Wanted to take that fight, stall them out. Sentinels really stalled out in the last round, and it cost them. Now, again, Leaf stepping on forward for the kill. That is easy for him. Running out of bullets, though, is good for the second, but we'll go for the chip damage before he falls. And then it stalls, and there's just no way they can get that gun picked up. But now, one player has vacated from G2, forced to back away. So that Spectre is somewhat recoverable left. if they could get past that one way. No, instead, back through elbow into A. Yeah, but I mean, the, the smokes here are nonstop. Jonah P is ready to cast that dart the second people try to come out from the smoke. Just give uh, a line for Trent to shoot off of. Shock dart down, we're down to absolutely no time. Someone of a repeat of that first round. They come down to the clock yet again. Jonah does not win that over Zekin, but Trent, the insurance policy on this site will swing at just the right time and keep this one under control. Still an absurd amount of damage. Yeah, that is Same util sequence to clear out B main. And into mid, Zekin goes quite quickly here. He's actually gonna attempt fate up through mid, flash on one side, and he sneaks through. That is a cheeky smoke for Sam. Yeah, he, the camera doesn't end up seeing him. There's a fight in main though. Look at that. Pinching through for market as well. Sentinel's Jonah. getting all the kills they could need. Jonah P has done some crazy things this tournament though. He has and he's got a gun. He's got everything he needs to make a meal of this one. Three kills. That might have been enough. Second now pushing towards spawn. One of his own connected. And he'll spread in there mid control thus far. And it sets him up for another hit into B. These defenders just keep getting overwhelmed. Leaf is down and second has deep control on B. Fallon with the paranoia, but Saucy shuts him down. Another counter flash too with Thrash following on top of it. Sentinels in firm control and coming around the corner is second. I love the way they're ping-ponging in this round. At first, it's the hit through market, then it's the players popping out through main. Then in that second sequence, they have another layer to the rounds ready. It's clear that Sentinels have put a lot of time into the ideas behind this comp. Yeah, and especially coming into G2, if Sentinels continue this very high pace style of gameplay, you know, where they can burn through some of that stalling utility early, they can force the rotates to come in, it will really punish G2. G2 want to play slow rounds. They stall you out. Maybe they walk out into you in mid and look for a fight there, but it's very hard for G2 to have very aggressive set pieces on defense. Their only blind is a paranoia. He trap plays. Got a paranoia ready to go on this fight. Second is down and Leaf converts onto a second there. Showstopper up. Huge. And top. That is tens taken care of. Hold on, look at this. They've got spike in main as well. That is brutal. All of a sudden, up mid junk UT is gonna have to try and find a lurk. And uh, well, Zelsis deals with the cipher on the opposite end and it shuts off the camera. There was a camera there that didn't see the cipher. And he's found a timing. He's gonna be back in Boba so quickly. Trent has to police this. If he loses his life back sight, then suddenly these players holding Spike are pinched from two angles and it gets dangerous. John misses his mark. So now Zelsis placed in a 1v3. And the stall there is permanent. Yeah, it can force him off the angle. How about that? The flash over the top brings it down to two. He can get this Spike now. There's a decent amount of time as well. Check this out. G2, assume he gets the spike and are already moving Pulling Trent over up. towards the A side of the map. They're splitting up though. And they saw Trent back behind Pillar, so if he slips left. into elbow before Zelsis gets here, that'll never be expected. Trent hears the footsteps. He knows Zelsis is coming. Is Zelsis ready for this? Does he have any idea? Trent's just on the other side. How oh, nice. has he done that? Zelsis! Now down to the 1v1, but he's getting flanked. Is he aware? Knife up! Right. Winnable round. Zelsis somehow the Red Bull clutch. I mean, the flash there, finding Leaf on his own in main. That There's kills no way he absurd. should be beating Trent there. 
and he needs one HP for the last fight. Unbelievable. To it though. Sentinels again putting a priority on taking control in mid, setting up for a beast, but it's fast. Rocket invested second in his face is leaf, but down he goes. Oh, down he's lined him up. Three kills already. He's blind, but he wants more. Tens on the other side, taken care of. And Jonah falls, but is he done enough? 3v2, Zelsus is on the floor, Saucy's in trouble. One enemy oh no, Saucy's been revealed. They know completely. Here it comes, G2 all around. The camera gives them such effective information. This knife has also been getting so much value. Two players revealed in market, Saucy sends Thrash in, and they know Sight is completely clear, even bringing it all the way back around for a recovery. Balan used the ult to teleport over. G2 wanting to pick up the pace on this a bit. Heavy play through market on the retake. Second is ahead of the smoke, but he is taken care of. Tens did trade that back, so it stays even in this post fight. Hunter's Fury, that's Jonah he sending it in from mid. He gets a tag on Saucy as his teammates start to enter the you site. Cage up for tens. He needs to make something of this position, and his teammates all will come in to assist. Oh, but in May, Saucy's down. Now tens has to activate. It really comes down to this man, but he couldn't spin around in time. And now Zelsus is late. Could he do it again? The 1v3, Jonah holding the spray, whiffing, but Trent off the spike. Flash around the corner. It's halfway. Can Zelsus isolate a fight? Can he take down Leaf? No! We're quick in A, though. <laughs> we always are. Not a break in this one. Second up to Elba. This is the first real time that Sentinels have straight up tested an A hit. Knife hit Valen. No paranoia, but it's already back up. The, the hit isn't coming in quick enough for Sentinels. They're all blind. Paranoia. They're all blind. Valen, how is he doing this? Sen is completely cut off from the rest of their team. Saucy, going to try and save this one. Molly doesn't affect Valen at all. He can just keep on fighting, keep on fragging. Shut keep their guns up to delay these floods that G2 loves. Zekin, once again, that is a beautiful flash for him to follow, but it's only one for one. Fantastic. Again, the knife shut down. Tens getting silly. It's a sheriff in his hand. I know exactly where you are. Does he just wait for this to come down? Oh no. Cypher revealing G2. The man refuses to move. When does he take his time in paranoia up? Swing at that! Tens! It's a tense moment, baby! He doesn't miss those. 3v2, though. G2 still have a shot at this. Net, oh, he's stuck out in the open, catches the trip. John Cutie takes him down, and Trent's tagged too. John is so sick for dropping that for that trip in the post plant. Ruining G2's day, Trent. What can he do? Everyone's isolated here. But no one's given him an angle. It's planted for all three of them. No chance. The spawn that Valen's staring into. This is a wild round. What? Set. He's in a crossfire, but he still finds a kill. What have I just witnessed? Sentinels came in and they said, we are going to run down G2. They're down multiple rounds and they're still doing it. Double satchel every round. The Omen ult dive. G2 have had the, the luxury, I think, of playing against a lot of teams that like to chill out on Sunset. That is not the Sentinels' motto. I mean, they were just playing crew on this map. Maybe the slowest attack side you could play against. What a difference. Sentinels use those bods and they use them to find the gaps. G2 gonna walk straight into that tripwire. Blank is revealed and a, was that a showstopper? It was, and it is gone. One for one trade. Blinding. And G2 now working on this retake, yeah. tens, in position on the site, and John QT a 1v1 towards spawn. This fight is everything. Whether or not John can come out on top. Trent is low and he sees the foot just jiggling it. Look at the movement on Trent. It's beautiful, but John still has a chance. Molly at his feet. He needs He's to burning. work really quickly. He's taken care of. Up to tens. First shot is beautiful and he'll teleport away. Find a new position, a new angle. Jonas low. And Trent has to hold this one to half. Tens has such little ammo. He's no sticking the reload. Trent is on the spot. Can Tens get him off? No! Trent hold. Smoke fades and Leaf was ready for it. Uh, yeah, Leaf was not fooled at all. That was bad.
Sentinels, uh, luckily for them, they have some kind of a, a presence in B main, but they still have to burst out into the site somehow. One of the rare rounds, Zekin didn't use the paint, paint shells, and that's because we got the rocket to zoom on into market, taken down by net all the way back in spawn. John QT in mid. Taken care of as well. Leaf has found two massive kills in this round. Comes to desperation. Sassy. What can the world champ get done? Already finds one kill. Now into the two versus four. And Celsius, another tough spot. 1v3. Trent close. Swinging him. Dinked. That's damage, not a kill. He needs something now, Trent. Taken. A main or giving it completely? Here's two alts committed. Into the AK. Jonah P. We'll try and counter from the other side, but just not finding connections. What happened to Zelsis? Maybe just killing himself to try and get HP back? Not quite sure. I, th I think Fallon might have had the high angle back from spawn here. But regardless, Zelsis gets picked up, no problem. Flash towards spawn. Saucy in a bit of a one and done here. He is taking some risks, but has his teammate up above to aid. That's 10. This Thrash again. That's a huge one. Second. Close corner, Stinger spraying, it's Saucy to pick him up instead, he finds two kills. Jonah back, into the side they come, Leaf for one, two versus two. John QT's position revealed, Celsus takes down Jonah and the time, it's almost gone, Leaf. There should be no way, he doesn't stick it. Is there enough? That opens up the A site, so G2 will get that plant off. Check out this trip over an elbow though, it might mean that the Sentinels cannot worry about that position in the post plant. If the first half was G2's comp loving to flood retake, the second half is going to be about Sentinels and the set retakes they can have with this flash heavy comp. Yep, Zels is going to get crazy with though. Dizzy goes out, paranoid to follow too, but G2 all off site. That they are. And that wingman can help in these chaotic post plants. Zekin on the tap. Already found one frag. G2 just trying to spam a way to take care of this one. Sassy, he's holding it down now. Jonah doesn't have enough HP to fight. It leaves it all on net. He's already dinked. And Zekin. And four suppressed on that knife. G2. Harvest up the orb and will reset. Back towards mid. Looks like Saucy worked his way all the way up through A main. Didn't quite catch if he picked up the orb, but getting Thrash online early is so big. Yeah, easy pick in mid. We've got this camera here too, which is so annoying. Just looking for any kind of lurk. So as they walk on into the smokes, Sentinel's gonna make quick work of G2. Yeah, great control in the backside here. John QT actually loses out to Valen, but the trade. Work with just the one right next to John QT to make sure no one comes up on his drill. Planted. Paranoia to reclear market. Uh oh. John QT. Uh -oh. Somehow pulls that one off. The drone is doing everything. One trip, two kills. Down to three for G2. Can they keep this round in their control? Second has the ult. He is fully cleared out sight. But can the rocket find a connection? No. Misses in main. Just a singer for him to work with. But Trent is blind. And he's knocked off to one side. Finds his kill. Tens up above the reflank finally coming Last in, but Saucy's found it down to half. It's only Trent. And on the other side of the smoke, a stinger is waiting! Yeah. And Sentinels! 5v5 post plant. Valen scouting out towards spawn there. Doesn't see anyone, so maybe worried about a potential flank. No, they've got a camera that should make sure there's no gaps on that one. They need to center this fight around shop. They've got two players, Leaf and Trent, ready to choke out Sentinels when they come through here. Util coming in for Sentinels. The flash is over the top. Second into the site. Leaf is blind. so blind. But Trent has a cheeky angle. Only goes for one. Sati activates, finds two, kills. This retake is so clean. The fish is finally. There is exactly one 1v1 they're giving on the map, and that's the omen. There were three players over in market, and Cypher's just playing off of his trips. Like you're always walking into an unfair fight and Tens, the only guy who takes the one, of course he's gonna get his. Yeah, if the only one you want is against like, Tens, like... It's cooked. Tough to win that. They'll get the plant in. But there should be no way they get a round out of this one. That util combo is disgusting. Two flashes in at the same time. Jonah overwhelmed. This round is critical. Big alts online. Showstopper. Zekin into mid. He's taken down. Exactly that is the first advantage she 2 has had in a long time, but there's another fight coming. They're still going. They're Net still Tens going. He's going to get overwhelmed here. Teleport out. Leaf. Showstopper. Connection through, but he still finds one. What? And Saucy's just gunning them down in main. 
Only two left alive. And look how aware Saucy is. He's ready for the player to mid. Joan is taken care of, and Trent is again alone. 1v3, an ult in his face. There is not a chance it flashed through the smoke. Celsus is ready for it, but they're gonna come to him instead. It's a one-for-one -one trade out. But John QT, Sentinels is always so apt to find these trades. It's because they have so much information. They're they're playing like it's unfair. It's 5v2. It's 5v2. Every single fight is a numbers advantage because they just know exactly what's happening on the map. And rewind that round to start up. They're cycling a dizzy A. They know that A main is clear. They have trips up on B. So they're fully understanding that this is likely to be a play through mid yeah. and are ready to punish that. And look, G2, they actually got into the smoke. They they almost had the the narrowest margin to actually get Hold in there. On. But... It that was a matter. chance in this map. No one is any is is in any position where they're giving a disadvantageous fight, even an even fight. Kaplan with a full off season to work with this team and bring them under the Kaplan spell, the magic of him. He has put together the most well drilled Sentinel squad I have ever seen. Great thrash will detain Net. He should have no way to escape this one. And his poor teammate Fallon only has 14 HP to work with. John's holding the line. It was only a map. Jonah P ready to unleash that Hunter's Fury. But Sentinel's getting aggro. It's a pinch into their spawn. Oh, Zekin connects the double off the rocket. They can't catch a break. Sentinels is running them over at every turn. That was out of G2's pause. They haven't slowed down for an iota of time. 5v1 for Trent. This is just so different from what we've seen before from Sentinels. G2 are looking shell-shocked, and you could not look at two teams with a different read on the map. G2, play slow, stall, and Sentinels came in, go, go, go. Not a moment to breathe. A timeout, the only respite, and the 30s on them. G2 start to hit. When is the flood going to come? It's only a matter of time. For Sentinels send their wave back. They're going to A with a spike. They're going to A with a spike. Those two players there. They heard Sentinels rotate out, but they're still hanging around. Tens finds his first, and there's still Saucy back in spawn. Saucy, he's gotten a kill. G2, they have a player already late on this flank. Hunter Fury is being popped. Jonah will try and defend his teammate. What can he get done with it? He buys time for net. The spike goes down. There's a camera that will see these two players. G2 need to get out in front of this fight. Sentinels are already on the defuse. Net finds three, but they're sticking it through. They take it all the way. Sentinels, 13 to eight. What a performance. They debut a new comp on Sunset, a new style of play, a completely different read than their opponent, and they dominate. Every one of those combos looked so perfectly drilled.